What's up, guys, and welcome. Welcome to Hitman 3. You know, I've got to say, I, I am pretty excited to get into this brand new journey with Agent 47. Of course, for those of you that have been following the series, you should know that Hitman 3 is the grand finale of the Hitman trilogy. So not only that, but of course, this is officially the first triple a title game of 2021 so that's always always exciting now for those of you that have been following this game you have seen the trailers you have seen the gameplay the levels have been getting so much praise they look stunning the design the graphic fidelity of this game is by far the, the best yet in the hitman series so a huge shout out to my friends over at io interactive they provided me with early access to the game so i can be able to prepare these videos for you guys early so a huge huge thanks to them i'm actually going to be doing a giveaway two copies for hitman all you guys have to do is drop a like on the video and uh let me know what console you guys are you know whether it's pc or console what are you guys playing on I'll be announcing it over on my Twitter. The links will be down in the description. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for being here. I cannot wait. And without further ado, let's do this. Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the Shadow Client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the Shadow Client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. And so here we are. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. In the shadows, behind the everyday world, beyond the headlines and the seats of power, a hidden hand. kind of company known as Providence. <laughs> to it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And just maybe look towards the future. Oh, God. 37. It's time. Oh, boy. Woo. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hitman 3. I believe our first mission is taking place in... Dubai. That is insane. The partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. <laughs> Wait, is that a beacon? Oh. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. 
We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep hmm. track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram wow. is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Hmm. Ooh. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. Wait. Really? We're here already? Oh my god. Dude, this is wild. 47. Come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Bro, look at this. Oh my god. Honestly, if it were up to me, I'd, I'd probably stay here for a good 15 minutes just gazing at the sky and all that nonsense. Oh. Sorry! Some somebody's probably gonna die. Just be careful. Okay, what do we do here? Climb. Oh snap. Let's go. Dude, look at the reflection. Oh my goodness. Let's drop down here. Perfect. Mm, locked. 47, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the windows controls from here. Oh, I think this is one of the new tools in this game. Excellent. Dude, this looks so good. Like, the I'm graphics. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are this so looks close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Oh my god, this looks stunning. Holy cow. Oh, well, here we are. Oh, I don't know if we should be going in there looking like this, Mr. 47. Okay. Don't think we looked the part, sir. Okay, never mind. <laughs> what? That was pretty fast. What a coincidence. The suits actually fit you, you lucky son of a gun. All right, so here we go. On behalf of His Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali, I bid you welcome to the scepter. Thank you, sir. So kind. What is this? Welcome to the Sep scepter pamphlet. Okay, so join us for the inauguration of the Burj Al Ghazali. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name. So the prince invites you all to join him in the opening of this milestone of a building. You are all his personal guests. Visit the various bars, exhibits, and relaxation areas. And most importantly, enjoy yourself. 
Oh, I've just got to say, this is amongst one of the most beautiful games right now. This this is incredible. Look at the floor. Okay, so we're going to head up. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Bro, how much money do you need to have to build a building this big? I would like to thank my cousin. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Friendship. Thank you. Listen. I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. <clears throat> There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to right. work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. All right, let's do it. All right. Oh, we can choose floor plan. It looks like the staff area could provide you with a viable route to the server. <laughs> All right, so infiltrate the staff area. By the way, we are playing on the PC, maxed out ultra settings. You know, we're running at like 130 frames right now too, so everything's pretty, pretty darn good. Life's pretty good right now. Let's see, can I go in here? There's a keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. One moment. Oh. All right, try this, four, seven, zero, six. Okay, well, <laughs> there's quite a bit of security here. That works. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? God, this looks so stunning. All right, let's check this place out. We've got. We've got some people here. Let's turn on this vacuum cleaner. <laughs> oh, God. We've also got a hammer down there. We could probably use that in. Smash someone's head across the canvas. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Nice and easy. I'm going to. Can I not dress up as him? Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Okay, it's fine. I'm going to put you in there. Let's turn this bad boy on again. There we go. Another one bites the dust. Come on. Oh, we've got the target up there. Look at him. Oh, hello there. Thank you for your hospitality. Oh, yes. I'm going to disguise myself. Perfect. Man, sir, you have a hairy back. Don't worry. We share one thing in common. Keep at it, brother. Now, may you have yourself a good day. Okay, we're gonna turn this thing off. It's quite irritating here. So our target, one of our, one of our targets, it's right upstairs. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. That looks kind of dangerous. Okay, so we've gotta be careful. Okay, hopefully these guys don't spot us. Oh my goodness. It's gonna make me look really bad. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Don't you worry. A colleague is also out there looking. But this is awful. I mean, I'm in my boxers and you are a woman. It's just so embarrassing. Transfer papers. You know what? I'm not even going to interact with that just yet. I'm going to head this way. And hope that this guy... Oh, snap. <clears throat> oh, God. All right, hold on. All right, let's see. Can we get this guy... Killed. No, we cannot. I'm gonna go this way. Let's see. I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Really? Okay, let's try it. No way. Quick, get me. <gasps> oh, fuck it. <laughs> Do it anyway. I don't give a shit. 
Oh, this is great. She's leaving. He's alone. And he's got the good uniform. <gasps> oh. Oh, oh. This guy's... Oh, my God. Hell yeah. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Very, very generous of you. But uh, now you go into dumpster. And there's a lot of flies, and it probably smells like poop in there. Sorry. And I'm also going to pick up the gun because... Again, we don't want to leave any of these things behind. Okay, let's try this again. All right, you know what? I need to get myself a camera like that. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything here, actually. Sheikh Al Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they jump at the chance. There's a Take lounge area at the top group. of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. <clears throat> if we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. Take the scenic route. Hold on. Uh, sir, Agent 47, please do not fall. This is, this is not good here. Can I even do this? Can I use that pipe there to climb up? Oh, shit. This is here, man. This is a little dangerous. A little bit too dangerous. But guess what? It can be done. We are, in fact, taking the scenic route. Oh, snap. Bro, what if you just look and you see some dude in a uniform doing this type of shit? <laughs> yeah, you're probably going to be a little suspicious. Just, just saying. Okay. I want to guess, take out the camera, and look at the reflection of Agent 47 there. So darn cool. And well, just like that, the ladies and gentlemen. should be behind one of the doors in this hallway. Okay, we don't have a key to... Ooh, there's a camera here. Uh-oh. Toilet control panel. What is this? No, I don't want to conceal no weapons. Are you crazy? <gasps> Hold on. Okay, how in the world am I supposed to... Okay, he's leaving. I thought I was going to be able to use the toilet to at least get his attention, but... Sorry, dude. Ooh. Okay, find the server room. Wait, that is the server room. Oh, that's fucking great. Okay, let me dump them in there. <laughs> Sorry, bro. My bad. Okay, do we have anything here that we may want to take? Oh, that's the key right there. A janitor's key. Interesting. I'm going to pick up the hammer. Just because, you know what? You never know. I think I want to get that guy's, uh... <laughs> Snap his neck. This guy's... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Pick up the weapon. You gotta pick up the AK, bro. You gotta put it away now. Don't get caught. That's right. Just drag him ever so slightly. Perfect. Yo, this is so sus right now. If I get caught, I am done for it. Well, you guys can enjoy your company at least. Now we've got an AK-47 and we've got the server room as well. Excellent.